Hello and welcome to this urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be wasting no time at all jumping straight into the charts here and going over the next must need to know levels if you want to continuously successfully trade Bitcoin alongside me right now. So I'm going to be sharing the levels that I'm looking for for the rest of this week to come, picking right off where I left off my last video, where we had obviously just seen a swing failure pattern of that low. Our key levels were obviously the weekly and the NPOC there, $16,543. Those were the key levels that we had next in play to the upside, which obviously we have now seen that break to the upside. So I'm going to be giving you an update on that and what I'm looking for next. I'm also going to share with you today a little bit of magic, a little bit of magic, which I can only refer to not even with words, but a mwah, a little bit of a kiss uh, because it was absolutely uh, it just brought a very big smile to my face. I am sat here with a very big smile and grin. Uh, so I hope I can share that with you during the course of this video is what we can only refer to as like a little bit of CC pool magic. So I'm going to zoom in here on the chart. Obviously, we had that triangle. That triangle broke to the downside, which gave us our mini range. So I'm going to zoom in on that mini range and do a very quick technical analysis update, moving on to what's happening now and what I'm looking for next. So we'd obviously, in that video yesterday, seen that swing failure pattern of the high. Okay, so that was our weekly back test here, zoomed in view, weekly back test. After getting that back test of the weekly, we started to move down and we formed bearish divergences. Upon seeing those bearish divergences and the back test of the weekly, we obviously are now looking down for lower levels. And we did in fact get lower levels just in the end, front running the CC and actually getting a swing failure pattern of our low. So just let me explain this. What is a swing failure pattern here? You can see we take the last high with a wick, close back below. That's a swing failure pattern. Okay, and then what we do is the exact opposite of this. So this is a bearish short trade setup swing failure pattern of the high. What we do in the end is we move down to wick below this low, close back above, to form a swing failure pattern of the range low. Okay, obviously in the time that looks like this, that's a swing failure pattern. Okay, and obviously from here we move up, making another high, and we get the back test of the CC. So this is Fibonacci from low to high, we move down and we back test the CC. But something very important here, obviously we've now got a swing failure pattern of the range low, back testing the CC. But the most important thing for me that I'm looking at here is these massive bullish divergences that formed. So obviously after this back test of the weekly, the first back test, we formed bearish CVD, right? And now after the swing failure pattern of the low, we've formed very big bullish CVD divergences. Here you can see a massive volume candle with minus, which is crazy, minus 36 million negative delta. This is an extremely large amount of negative shorts opening. Okay, This is a high, high volume candle when you look at the open interest. This is not often we see this, but it was a very large open interest increase. Lots of shorts opening, but actually ending with bullish divergences. Okay, so then we've seen the pieces of the puzzle. We've seen the swing fire pattern of the low, retest of the CC with our bullish divergences. Okay, from here we can still be trading the charts and range until it breaks. But obviously as we edge on and edge on and edge on during the course of the day, we end up reclaiming that weekly level that we were looking at. And this is where the little bit of CC pool magic is. This was the exact level that I gave you in the video yesterday. Remember I said, if we reclaim that weekly, we're gonna move to the NPOC, not the local CC, not anything else, not the value area alone. No, I said reclaim that weekly and we'll go to the NPOC here, which is 16,543. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Reclaim that weekly after seeing all those bullish divergences. Once again, we had those massive bullish divergences form of a disc candle. And then look at this. We moved up to tap that NPOC. All right, really, really, really nice. So we add back on the analysis here. You can see how everything starts to absolutely make sense. Uh, the little bit of magic, you might be wondering, what's the magic here that you're all about, Daniel? And I actually want you to do a little bit of your own research here and check, you know, check this. The NPOC I obviously listed in yesterday's video as $16,543. Please do your own research and you will see the naked point of control is not exact dollar of 16,543. What I actually done was uh, show you that CC pool are causing these reactions to the exact dollar. That was an exact dollar reaction, as I posted already in my group inside of the Discord. Uh, we got the exact dollar reaction off the NPOC. I actually came in one hour before it happened, as we were inside this consolidation. And I said, wait for the NPOC 
16543. I said, wait for it. One hour later, we actually got that move up to tap the NPOC. One hour later. Uh, it was kind of amazing. And the reason why I wanted to, <clears throat> why I wrote this level yesterday was to show you nobody else in the world would have had that level on their charts. Why? Because this is not actually the exact dollar of the NPOC. That's a fact. This is not the exact dollar NPOC. I actually wrote this on my charts to show you that CC pool can affect the market. And that is undeniable because the NPOC is not that exact dollar level. It is not 16543. I wrote it as 16543 to show you that CC pool really can affect this market. We are able to cause reactions at levels. And that is absolutely undeniable because that level was given to the public 24 hours in advance. It was obviously given into my group even before that. And then this morning, while we were inside this consolidation area, I said, I reminded them, you know, wait for this MPOC, it's going to come. And then one hour later, we come up and we tap it to the exact dollar. And, you know, we got, we got this mini pullback. And at the end of the day, whether this is the high or not, it's irrelevant. The, rea the, the, the relevancy here is just to show you the power that CC pool have. And really, the levels are respected to the exact dollar. That's once again an MPOC that we've, we've had respect at here. So that was the little bit of magic brought to you by CC Pool. And if anybody ever asks you anymore, uh, you know, can we create reactions? You can tell them right, now, right here, right now, yes, because this was not the exact dollar in POC. This is something that I've done for a little bit of a little bit of fun to show you, giving you a level in advance, telling you reclaim this weekly, look for that NPOC, then seeing that NPOC being respected to the exact dollar. It was just kind of funny because it's not actually an, an, the, the exact dollar NPOC. I kind of just changed it to this level to show you uh, the reactions that we can cause in this market. So uh, yeah, CC pool. Uh, there we go. Uh, now moving on to what I'm looking at next then. We've had our little bit of fun. So what I'm looking at next, well, this this for me remains a zone of, of resistance. So I'm actually looking up from these highs. So we have these row of highs here. So this is our re resistance of... Um, this is our next resistance zone, obviously from this NPC, but it's really up to this high. OK, so we're looking at around 16,600, 16,660. OK, because this is our series of highs. OK, if we reclaim this as support, so if we actually flip 16,600, let's say we do, let's say we start to form bullish CVD divergences here. We haven't actually got any at the moment, but let's say we do start to form. CVD bullish divergences and we reclaim 16,600 or well, then we can be looking back up to that 16,820 level okay which is obviously our Igor session NPOC a very 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 important level for myself so it's always this ladies and gentlemen it is a level to level trading game okay it is level to level what we need to do is mark out our levels check their reaction obviously here we formed our back test of the weekly bearish CVD brought us down to swing failure pattern the low where we made a new high, back test then the CC with bullish divergences, reclaim the weekly, move up as exactly as predicted to the exact level that I gave you. Okay, from here, it's now going to be a case, a case of waiting. Uh, what I'll be looking for now is, are we going to form more CVD divergences? If the answer is yes, we can be looking back up to 16,600. Well, I'm going to see, do we actually reclaim that as support? You know, a few options would be wick onto the level, Swing failure pattern rejection. Okay. Or alternatively, we'd be, well, simply looking for that level to be broken, back tested, and, and moving up to our next level, right? So there's always this option, two options in trading. And this is a game of probabilities. Yeah. We come in here. I'm able to show you, you know, able to predict this market. It's it's not a random market. The levels are the levels are able to be, you know, traded if you if you have that knowledge and, and skill. And this is obviously what we're sharing with you. This is not, you know, I'm 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 openly sharing you with you this information. I'm openly sharing with you these levels. And um, you know, we're also giving you the theory to be able to do this yourself. So you aren't reliant on me always at the end of the day. Obviously, the, our goal at Chart Champions is to make you into a self-sufficient trader. We are teaching you how to fish. You've got all of the education that you're ever going to need over on our website. Obviously, you've got the education. You've got the daily live streams. You've got the speed runs, which is our whole course into five minute videos. You've got the whole course itself. You've got the templates. Obviously, here you can see me using Exo Desktop. These are all templates that we've you know, spent hours and hours and hours making. Also, shout out to Igor. He's obviously the main guy. 
uh, you know, and then we've we've shared these templates for you. So all you need to do is download and use them. We've spent the hundreds of hours making them. It also includes Atis as well, if you are interested in Atis, Exo Desktop, Exo Web. But we've got all the templates, all the education, and then if you want, obviously, these live trading updates, then you also get that as well. You've also got a live trading stream today. So <laughs> even more, you've got another live trading stream today. So if you want to get involved in the next live trading stream, that's actually later today. You're going to have, you know, two live streams today. Uh, three live streams today including the live trading stream so the live trading stream you don't obviously don't want to miss and that's uh, later on today um if you do miss it well you can always watch it back on demand our videos are much like netflix um <clears throat> but yeah today i just wanted to give you that that quick update again if you want to see my last champions live stream where i went over my elliot wave count you can also get that elliot wave count inside of the latest live stream and my elliot wave counts are not to be missed <laughs> um so yeah we've got a lot of new new features a lot of new content out on that if you're interested chartchampions.com Obviously, for the rest of this video, which I'm going to wrap it up with, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a level-to-level -level trading game for me. I've got my next levels marked out. For me now, it does re require a bit of patience. Where it is right now, you know, I'm not going to take an exact another trade at this level. I'm going to need to wait for some more data, which means inside of this now mini range that I have, some more divergences forming, or alternatively, a loss of this mini range, and I'll look for another bet potential back test of the weekly or a reclaim of. 16600 where i can look up for my eagle session point of control of course if we break through that then i can be looking up back up to 17300 right where it's really simply my next level to the upside so this for me is how i approach this market every single day you know while other people are getting distracted other people are getting bored a lot of people are you know wasting their time i think a lot of people are wasting their time inside crypto right now this is not a time to be bored this is not a time to be distracted this is a time to be focused focused on the charts focused on the levels and focused on the technical analysis why because it's the only way to consistently make money in this market it is by trading using the technical analysis that is that is the factual information right there because you can see swing fire pattern this is a technical trade make a new high back test the cc with bullish divergences that's technical you expect to move to the upside we reclaim that weekly and what do we do we hit that npoc to the exact dollar you cannot deny the technical analysis you cannot deny the levels if you do deny that then well i say you are not looking at the evidence that's presented right in front of you that these levels are respected to the exact dollar and all given in advance okay so let's follow the technical analysis let's follow the order flow let's make informed decisions and let's make some winning more trades together winning more trade let's make more winning trades together ladies and gentlemen i hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and tick the notification bell because then you're going to be alerted as soon as we make any new videos in the future of course we're also giving away one hundred thousand dollars so if you are subscribed to the channel and get the notification bell on you'll also be the first to be aware of who's winning that hundred thousand dollars on the giveaway which we're obviously very proud of happy to be giving away to be honest uh so yeah that hundred thousand dollars giveaway will be soon uh for more trading updates live in the time then obviously you can get that over inside of our discord that's where we get the live trading updates if you want the next live trading stream once again that's over at chartchampions.com see you all in london soon for our sold out event um, but yeah everything's going pretty well right now i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video and uh, i'll catch you over in the side of the discord on the website if you want to see more thank you ever so much and I will just say this, CC Paul, send their love. I send my love today. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed the magic and the little bit of fun that I had today on the charts. I'm not saying this is the overall high. I'm just saying that was my level. <laughs> it was respected to the dollar. And now uh, for next, I'm remaining a bit patient here for another level to come into play. But thank you ever so much. <laughs> and I'm just going to sign off there. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Of course, I'll end with the legal trade disclaimer. Uh, no financial advice in this video. Do your own research. No trades on paper demo trade account. Thank you. Bye.